Hi there, this is Jerem from ProSite Tutorials and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to explain how you can use WordPress categories, which is really a great way for you to easily organize your website's posts. Okay, currently I have several posts over here. I have one about a pudding, a lemon pudding, uh, several cakes, and also an ice cream. And none of them are actually belonging to a category. So I'm going to categorize this and I'm going to create a main category for them all. And they are all desserts. So I'm going to create a main category. Basically categories is a way for you to organize your website posts by topics. Okay, so for you to go to the categories of WordPress, you simply need to go to Posts and select Categories. When you first install WordPress, you only have this category called Uncategorized. And the only reason why you should ever use this is if you have a post in your website and it really doesn't relate with any kind of topic that you talk about uh, in your website. So you can use Uncategorized for this. Okay, so I'm going to create a main category called desserts and the slug will be desserts and it's quite hard for me to explain what is a slug at this point later on you will understand better but it's basically the small extension that will appear on your URL as you can see over here once someone goes to your category page so I'm going to use desserts and this won't be the parent of anything because this will be my main category. Okay, so description is just a brief explanation that you can put uh, only for yourself so you can know more exactly what this category is about. Uh, description will be all cake, all desserts. And now I'm going to do subcategories. So I will do subcategories. This, by this I mean I will create a category just for, for pudding. So all of the, the posts that later on I create about puddings will belong to that category. Also I will create a category, a subcategory, just for my cakes and one, another one for my ice creams. So I'm going to do that really quickly. This will be called puddings. The slug will be puddings. And yes, this one will belong to my main category. It will be parent of my main category, desserts, because this is just a subcategory. And basically what I'm I'm trying to for you to understand is you can use this for anything. Uh for example, if you have a website where you sell TVs, you could do a main category for TVs and then you could create subcategories for each company that sells TVs. This is just an example and category is really a great way for you to organize your website posts as I said pre uh, previously. So description will be all posts Okay, and I will do the same thing for all of them. Now, ice creams, really quickly, had a new category, and just one more to go. Okay. So now I have all of my categories and subcategories. Uh, now I need to go to my posts and organize this because they still don't belong to any category. As you can see, they are still all uncategorized. And I will do this really quickly. As you can see below, you will have this small little window saying categories. And if for some reason you don't have it, 
you just need to go to screen options check it and check this box over here that says categories because I know that sometimes finding screen options it's just not very clear where they actually insert this option so this will be about puddings I will select uh, the section called puddings updated and I will just do this for two other posts because I'm not going to do for all or else this video won't end today so I will do for the cakes also you can create a new category while you're writing a post let's say that you want to create a new category you just need to go to this hand new category write some a name over here and you can also select the parent so it's also basically the same thing ha as I did previously okay just one more post strawberry cake which seems a really good cake okay so I have some posts already organized by categories so as I said previously this is a great way for you uh, to organize your posts and it's something that you should really start using from the beginning it's good for you to use for from the beginning especially if you have a blog initially you may not have many posts you probably have one or two but if you write on a daily or weekly basis I mean after a year you will have many different posts and this is a great way for you to know exactly the posts that you have belonging to a specific topic because you can go over here for example to the filters that you can see over here and let's say that you want to see all the posts belonging to cakes so you filter it and there you go you could easily see all the posts belonging to this topic also the other reason that you should use categories it's because it gives you direction to your blog one thing that I usually do when I start a blog is I select two main categories that I want to talk on my blog and then from those two main categories I create several subcategories and this gives me a lot of things to talk about and gives me direction and focus on what exactly I need to do for my blog so this is a great way for you to organize stuff because you can filter things also the other reason why you should actually do this is let's say that someone goes to your blog and they go and read this post about chocolate cake they read it and they really love it because it's really impressive as you can see um, so they really love it and they want to see all the posts belonging to uh, the same category so once everything is organized by categories you can see that below you have this links appearing so let's say that the person wants to read all the posts belonging to the cakes category so they s check this link over here and once they click on that link you can see that all the posts that I categorized on cakes will appear over here so it's an easy way for anyone who goes to your website to easily and quickly assess the post belonging to a specific topic also as I said previously about slugs slugs is the small extensions that will appear above as you can see uh, for the category uh, I use the slug cakes for this category and you can see that it appears over here also let's say that someone you have several main categories and the person wants to see uh, from your main category all the posts belonging to it so they can click on this link called desserts and they would be able to see all the posts belonging to that category for example I could create another main category for several uh, types of dishes other for desserts and I could actually then create several subcategories for each main category so this is just an example but you can do this with anything and that is all for this video I hope you enjoyed it and that has been helpful to you 
Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can receive our fantastic and latest updates. Also, if you have any question, just leave it below. I will try to reply as soon as possible. That is all for now. Stay tuned with Pro Sectorials and bye.